everyone. It's Elisa from Inside the Photo Box and Photo Box Designs. I'm here. I want to show you how easy it is to use our new collection of ornament templates. They're all different sizes. There's a variety of different ones. I think we have four of them now. I'm going to just quickly show you how to import a photo into the template and how to resize them and use it. So we'll start off with this one. When you open up the template, this is the square ornament in a tree template. When you open it, you'll see a little directions layer. Make sure you shut that layer off after you've read it. You don't want to flatten anything with this layer open. <clears throat> Taking a look at this, you see that there is a foreground layer. There's an ornament layer. This is just a little holder right here where it says place your image here. It's just to let you know that your image needs to go under the ornament in order for it to be correct. And there's a background layer. And that's really it. It's a very simple template. So the background has a nice blur or a bokeh. And then you have your ornament. And there's a little bit of foreground. You could choose to use the foreground or not use the foreground. That's really up to you and how you want your composite to look. So what you need to do is go to File, Place Embedded, pick out the photo that you want to put in and press place. Now I picked out a, a, this little boy. You'll notice that, um, I'm just gonna press the check mark there. You'll notice that the boy here, he's, he's up on top. So he's covering everything. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to bring him down and layer him under the mat, under the, the, the ornament. However, he still has his background attached to him. So I'm going to, I'm gonna shut off the ornament and the foreground for a moment. And all I have left is the boy. I'm doing this tutorial with Photoshop CC uh, version 2020. So there's some upgraded functions that if you haven't upgraded uh, may work slightly differently. But what you're going to do is what I would do is I'm going to go over here to the quick selection tool. You'll take note that I, it says it, there's a little check mark here for sample all layers. I do not have it checked because I only want to select the boy. If I press sample all layers, it will sample from all the layers and it will not give me a correct and accurate selection. So I'm going to just go here and make sure that I am actually on the right layer. So if I look at on the right side, I have my layers panel. This is Christmas. I'm making sure that I have, I have highlighted the correct layer. Now I'm going to press select subject. And it does a really good job. For this particular picture, there's enough contrast between the boy and the background that it pretty much pulls out the entire boy. And now what I'm going to do is now that I've selected the boy, I'm going to put a mask over him, a layer mask. I just went down here where the little add layer mask is. <clears throat> and that's it. I've added, a, I've added a mask. Now my mask is black. The boy is white. You can see it in the mask. And now I'm going to press Command T on a Mac or Control T on a PC. And I'm going to, now, I, the, this is where the upgrade happens. I am going to just take the edge and transform it. If you are not using Photoshop CC version 2020, you will have to hold your Shift button down. I am using the upgraded version so I do not have to hold my shift button down anymore. I'm going to take my little guy, I'm going to leave him right there, I'm going to open my ornament again. There's my ornament, so now I'm going to go back. I have here, for the uh, move tool, I have this little check here that says show transformation controls. So now I'm able to just take him and grab him because I have the transformation on. Otherwise you could just press control or command T. Again, I'm going to enlarge him to where I would like him to be under the template. So now he is, remember he's under the ornament. I'm gonna make him even a little bit bigger. I want his cute little face to show. Even a little bit larger. And I'm gonna leave him right there and press the check mark. Now he is under the ornament which is exactly where you want him to be, but he is sticking out a little bit. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the layer mask. I'm going to take, I'm going to hit the letter B to bring up my brush tool. I want to make sure that my uh, foreground is set to white. So right now it's set to black, which means I have a black brush. I'm using a soft, soft round brush. I'm going to press the letter X and that will toggle back to white. And I'm just going to, uh, let's see here. It's not working. I'm sorry, I want it to be black. <laughs> this is the process that we go through sometimes forgetting, but that's, that's a good example of what do you do when something's not working? It happens to everybody. <clears throat> I want to, I want it to make it black, not white. And that's okay. I'm not even going to redo the video. So I want it to be black. So I'm painting it out, I'm painting him out because he was white in this section and black conceals and white reveals. So, um, but that's a good problem solving activity. So if you go to do something and it doesn't work, well, then you have to try something else. And that is a very common one. So, and I'm just painting it out and that's it. Now he fits underneath my ornament. <clears throat> I'm going to turn my foreground back on. You can choose to leave your foreground off or turn it back on. Either one, it looks good both ways, in my opinion. So now I take a quick look at the other Santa templates. I'll show you something cute that you can do. I'm going to take this boy here and I'm going to move him into some of the other templates. And I'm going to do that by, he's already has his masks on, mask on him. So what I'm going to do is I have selected the boy and I selected not the mask. I have clicked on the actual layer. I'm going to press Command C and I'm copying. That is the command to copy, Command or Control C. And I'm going to go over here to this template. This is the template that has Santa holding the ornament with a cute little tree background. And you'll see here again, this is the Santa ornament. And this is the background. And that's it. That's the whole template. So I'm going to uh, have it he highlighted here for your image here. I'm going to press Control or Command V, and I've now brought my layer, my little boy layer, into this template. And since I've already masked him out, I don't need to do it again. I'm going to go to my Move tool, and I'm just going to move him into the template. And um, this might be where you have to refine a little bit, because now he's a little bit different. <clears throat> so I'm going to, I just transformed him and I'm going to go back to my mask. I'm going to press the B for brush tool. I'm going to use that black, that black brush, and I'm going to wipe off the boy. So he's, he's fully inside of this, this, uh, ornament. Okay. I'm going to do this again. There's a, another template that I have here. It is, um, this is the simple one. This is just a red background with Santa. This one actually has a snow layer that you can remove off the top. This one has an ornament layer. This has snow on the bottom and it has snow inside. So this one has a few extra features, it has a lot of snow. So if you wanted to add some snow, so the snow layer is not embedded into it. You can click it on, click it off. You can take off the top snow and the bottom snow. It's up to you. You could have no snow whatsoever. Um, I have over here a place your image here. I'm going to do exactly what I did before, which is command V and I brought him back into this template. Now, all I did was take that first boy. Whoops. I don't want to move this guy. I'm going to press command Z to go backwards so that it's correct. Um, so I have, I'm going to go to the boy layer. I'm going to press con, command T, I mean, control T, command T. I'm going to move him, control or command, depends on which kind of computer you're using. I'm going to enlarge the boy into this template. And again, remember he is under the ornament. He's under the snow layer. He's under the ornament overlay. He's under all the other snow. 
and I'm going to just turn all those other features back on. And now he's inside and I'm probably going to move him down just slightly and maybe make him a little bit bigger. Bring him up here a little bit and he works perfectly fine under this one. And again, I probably would have to refine him a little bit. I'm going to go to the black layer, press B, making sure I'm still on a black brush and I'm going to wipe off a little bit that has come through on this layer because I don't want them there. All right, and there's one last template to look at. This is the triple ornaments. This one is a it has three ornaments, but it's very simple to use. It has snow that you can click on and click off. It has the three ornaments, but they're all layered together into one layer. It has put your images here. It has some text for you because this is a holiday card. This is a little bit of sample text that you can use. This is more sample text. You can, the text is editable and there will be a download link to where you can get this text for free or you can just change out the text to whatever, the fonts to whatever you would like to use. And again, I'm gonna go back here to your images here, press Command V to paste, and I pasted the same boy back in. And I'm going to transform him. He is already under the layer that he needs to be under. So I'm just gonna stick him right in here and he's, he's working out pretty good. So this is under just the ornaments layer. All three ornaments are on one layer together. And so now what you would need to do is go back and go through the process of importing in some more pictures for your ornaments. And that's it. So if you have any questions, reach out to me and I'd be happy to answer. Thanks for watching.